Hello, I'm Mehdi Einian. Once I calculated vibration modes for a simplified model of a machine tool, it has a C type column that brings the tool next to the workpiece. Uh, I made a simple boundary condition by fixing the bottom of the machine tool to the floor. It's obviously an approximation. I also made much more approximations, such as assuming that the contacts were rigid in the components of the machine. I didn't include individual behavior of ball bearings in the spindle. So it's very, very simple model of the machine tool. But the idea was that to show how different vibration modes can happen and in which frequency range they will be or how they will look like. At very low frequency range, we can see the uh, some sort of torsion of the column that causes the tool or the spindle go in commonly known X direction with respect to the workpiece. The second mode is opening of the C-frame of the machine. The third mode is another form of torsion. Another fourth mode at 5, 153 Hz is another form of opening. The fifth mode is a 502 Hz, is a mode that comes from mainly the formation of the table. And finally, and interestingly, is a high frequency mode that's coming from vibration of the cutting tool. It's interesting to see that in this high frequency vibration, not many other parts are deforming. And it can also mean that stress levels are not very high at those parts. And also the force levels are not that high. So a vibration of a tool at 4000 Hertz may not damage uh, the machine as much uh, as a uh, lower frequency vibration that we see, for example, the one at 56 Hz or 153 Hz, because there lots of forces transferred. We have ball bearings that can severely affect uh, the life of the machine tool. Anyway, all of these vibrations can adversely affect the quality of the workpiece because they will lead to vibration marks and they can also uh, uh, change the instantaneous chip thickness between the tool and the workpiece and that can lead to uh, chipping of the cutting edge. I hope this was an interesting video for you. See you again. Bye.